Hey guys, it's uh, it's been a busy week, and I have just acquired the last of my bucket list Holy Grail amps. So I, can... <laughs> I guess that means I'm done now, right? Right after we do some tone tests. So my one bucket list amp was the C Plus Coliseum, which I was able to get my hands on one of those a couple years ago. And just this week, my other bucket list amp is an original dual rectifier. Revision C. Quite a low serial number. This thing has, the story goes, been in storage for about 20 years and it popped its head out. And uh, I am now proud owner of this fucking beast. So, see I got the chassis out now because I'm doing health checks and I'm gonna do some tube testing tonight. First test on the Rev C. We're gonna do some tube testing. Um, <clears throat> you might note here that I have it in 60 watt mode, which, you know, that's how you do 60 watt mode on the two channels and then just plug your 8 ohm cab into your 4 ohm jack. But this thing, oh, when I got it, there's a brand new set of JJ5881s in it. And, you know, I usually, I don't use those tubes too often. It's just kind of like a quieter, softer 6L6. Um, but I also just happen to have some JJ6L6, Mesa Brandon, as well as some JJEL34Ls, which I know sound particularly good in rectifiers. So I figured, Let's go ahead and start out by seeing which tubes this amp prefers. Usually in my rectifiers, I like the 6L6, although I do have these EL34Ls around because those things work especially well in my trim of verb. Um, so I really like them over there. That amp with 6L6 actually a little bit on the harsh side. And those ELs really smooth that thing out and make it sing. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do today. Um, first sonic test, and this is just gonna be kind of in the room with the phone you know that, that kind of gives the best in the room footprint rather than you know miking up the cab um, miking up the cab sounds better in the band mix but honestly i think just the iphone mic gives a, a better feel of what it sounds like in the room so i will say this amp is incredibly tight it's the first rectifier i've played where i honestly don't need a boost um, and it's not as harsh on the top end as a lot of people have said about the rev c so i was really pleasantly surprised about that Anyway, uh, I've got just Chinese in the pre. So let's hear a couple initial tones on the orange to modern channel through this oversized recto cab of the amazing Rev C rectifier. 5881s. <laughs> Six. 